Hello everybody and welcome to day 14 of my beginner sewing course. I hope you are well. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to sew buttons and buttonholes. Kind of self-explanatory. Um, I'm going to be using a four hole button so make sure that's the kind that you have and you're going to need thread and your sewing machine, the usual. So let's get into it. Okay, so what you're going to do is grab your buttonhole presser foot and um, you'll see that there is this lever right here and you can move it up and down. Uh, now take your button and place it right here. And now you're going to use that lever and push the button to the max. Right now is the max because it doesn't go any further. So that's the first step. The next step is to place your presser foot in your sewing machine like this. Now you're gonna find the buttonhole stitch. Um, my machine has quite a few. So those are all the ones. So I've tried this one, but I find that the uh, inside is too narrow and it's hard to make a hole in it. So I like to use 105. So I'm just going to press that. And I'm not gonna change any of the settings. As you can see, it says to use the presser foot F, which is the buttonhole presser foot. So as you can see behind the um, needle threader lever, there is another lever and it's this one right here and that needs to go down. So make sure you put it all the way down and it's uh, going to guide your machine depending on how big your button is. Ours is pretty big and I'm actually going to place the thread inside of that hole right here just so it's out of the way. I'm gonna grab all my scissors. Perfect. Now you're gonna grab a piece of scrap fabric and place it where um, you want your button to be. On a pattern, it'll tell you exactly where you need to place that button with like a little X. So let's start sewing. And when you're sewing a buttonhole, you don't really have to um, move the fabric. The machine does that for you. And you just keep sewing and keep sewing and the machine is going to stop when it needs to stop. So as you can see, the machine stopped because it was done. And now you can just thread, uh, you can just cut your thread. And there you go, we have a perfect bun hole. There is uh, one last step though. There is actually no hole in there, so you have to pierce it yourself. So just grab like your seam ripper or something and make that hole yourself. Just be careful not to rip out um, any of the stitches that your machine made. This is good. Now you can see there's an opening so I'm just gonna grab my button, see if uh, it's the right length. That seems good to me. And yes, it's perfect with a little bit of pressure, which is just what we want. Amazing. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is grab your needle and grab about uh, two meters of thread that you're gonna fold like this. And then at the end here, there's a loop and you're just gonna tie a couple of knots. This should be good, that's a pretty big knot. So now you're just gonna thread your needle So now let's say this is the wrong side of your fabric. You're just going to pierce a hole where you want your button to be like that. And now go in one of the holes. And what you're gonna do is wanna create like an X shape, but let's start with the beginning. So just sew right across here. So make sure this is tight. Then you're going to sew right here. Oops. 
Now you're just gonna repeat that exact same step. So make sure it's tight and start in this hole right here, the first hole. Make sure it's tight again and sew right across. Once again. And do this pro repeat this process like four times. This should be good. Make sure it's tight and now you're going to go in the next hole here. Make sure it's tight and once again repeat, go right across. All right, now what you're gonna do is fold your fabric over and just pull your fabric through to the right side of the fabric, but not in one of the needle holes and pull until it's tight. Now what you're gonna do is just wrap the thread in a circle all around the button. You're gonna do that about three to four times. And pull make sure it's tight now you're gonna grab your needle again and once again do that pierce through to the wrong side of the fabric like this and now you're gonna finish off your knot so let's do that pierce through the fabric like this and then as you can see here there's like a little hole so just make your needle go through that hole like that and that'll create a knot now you're just going to do that again try to do it at the exact same spot too Once again, you're going to do that about four to five times. There you go. And now you can just trim your thread, leaving a little tail like this. And you have a perfectly sewn on button. And there you have it. Sewing a bunhole really is that easy. Um, I just suggest before you actually sew a bunhole, always do it on a little bit of scrap fabric before doing it on your actual um, dress or shirt or whatever, pants. Um, that's always a good tip. But yeah, I mean, it's super easy. Adjust the settings, play with them, make sure everything is seamless. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Your homework is just to practice sewing on buttons and buttonholes. And I will see you in the next one.